In this presentation, we're going to enter beginning balances for our other accounts. In other words, we've entered the beginning balances related to the job costing accounts. Now we're going to enter the other balances for the purposes of our practice problem. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online. Here we are in our job costing company dashboard. We're going to be entering the beginning balances. To do so, let's go back on over to our Excel worksheet to consider where we are at. I'm in the uh, example zero tab. So we're going to go back up top and I'm going to say that these are going to be our beginning balances. Now we've entered the balances for the job costing information. I'd like to get some other numbers in there just so when we go over to the balance sheet, we have a little bit more activity uh, in it and we can consider some more kind of accounts as we go into it. And so we don't have a negative cash account. So we're gonna want at the beginning balances at this 30, 300,000, the, five, the 510 for the equipment, we'll put uh, accumulated depreciation in there, accounts payable, and then a capital or retained earnings account. Let's see what we have in our account so far. And we'll just do this very quickly with a, with a journal entry. It will be, it'll be easy. It'll be painless here, hopefully, relatively painless. So we're going to go back on over. Let's go on down to our reports. Let's open up our favorite two reports, that being the balance sheet and the income statement. So I'm going to open up the balance sheet first. That's kind of like my favorite. I think it's the favorite one. So I'm going to go back up top. And we entered this, and we want to be as of the, at the beginning of December, uh, or, or the beginning of 2020. So this would actually be fine if I go down, I'm in, I'm in 2020. You can see that what we have is the checking account at the 83,000 and the equity account at the 83,000 because the, the, the retained earnings or the income rolled over into it. In other words, if we went back up top and made this as of 2019, let's make it 123119 to 123119 and then run that report. All the difference is, is that now it's in the equity section, but in income, then it's going to roll into to the, to the retained earnings. And that's where we want it. So let's go back to 2020. So 2020, 2020, and then run that report. Now it is in retained earnings. So that's fine. Okay. Now let's go ahead and right click on this tab up top and duplicate it. So I'm going to go to the tab up top right click on it then duplicate it so we're going to have the balance sheet to the right and then the other tab to the left where we can do stuff let's go on down to the reports again open up the other favorite reports that being the p l the profit and loss the income statement not as relevant to what we're doing here but we just want to consider the income statement as we've entered the data into it thus far so we're going to go into that p l that profit and loss that income statement we're going to be looking at the income statement for 2020, the point being that there's nothing in there in 2020 because we entered the data prior to this time period. So if we were to look at the prior time period, 2019, and I'm just going to say 123119, then we're going to see the, uh, the data. But the point is that this all rolled in to, to the equity section for the start of our problem, which is going to be the 2020. I'm going to right click on this tab again up top, right click on the tab, then duplicate that tab. So now we have the balance sheet, then we have the income statement, then we have the tab to the left where we can do stuff. One more report I want to take a look at, useful report, that being the trial balance report. This will give us all the, all the information in kind of like one spot. It's all the way at the bottom under like the accounting section. So uh, you'd have to go all the way down here or you can just basically type in trial balance so it's going to be way down here so here so usually when i go into it i just type it in there and i just say i want to find the trial balance that's the one and same process here note, note that if i if i make this for 2019 12 31 1 9 12 31 1 9 then we're going to get a bunch of detail here we're going to get a bunch of information but it's really just the balance sheet and then the income statement. So the checking account, uh, and then we've got the income statement accounts, nothing in equity because that is the equity accounts. Then if I pull this over to 2020, let's bring this on up to 2020, and then say run that report, this is all we have. And this is the nice, if you're used to debits and credits, this is the easiest way to see it because then you just see you know, the checking account the retained earnings. This is what we have right now and, and the bare bones level. You can also see it on the balance sheet, but you have a lot more subtotals in it. So all I, all I want, this is where we, where we are at. And this is on here. This is where we want to be. 
Okay, so then how are we gonna get from where we're at to where we want to be? Well, if we take where we where we want to be, being these are the beginning numbers, I just pulled them down, and we compare that to where we are at, which is the 83,000 in cash and uh, or negative, and then, the, and then the capital or retained earnings, and we take the difference between the two, we can then think of this as just big one big journal entry that we can enter for the rest of the beginning balances. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna enter one journal entry for the rest of the beginning balances, which will be this column. And then we should be ending then at our beginning balances here. So we have something that, that kind of, you know, gives us something to work with more than just uh, the job costing numbers. Okay, so let's do that. It won't be too difficult. It's gonna be easy. We're gonna go back on over here. I'm gonna right click on this tab again up top. I'm gonna duplicate this tab. So we got these three reports open. We're gonna duplicate that tab. So we got the balance sheet, the PL, then the trial balance. And then I'm gonna to go to the tab to the left where we're actually gonna enter the journal entry. So now we're gonna be entering a journal entry. If we go to the new button up top, we're looking for a journal entry. So we're gonna just go to the other item over here, journal entry. So we will enter the actual journal entry uh, using debits and credits. If you're not familiar or too used to debits and credits, it's okay, it should still uh, be okay, we'll, we'll put this in here. And we're gonna say then that if we compare this out, we're just gonna say then the ca cash, which is the checking account. So the checking account that we had to set up is gonna be this one. And I'm gonna make this as a 1231.19, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. It's gonna be 83,000. So I'll pay 83,000 debit. No, it's not, is that right? No. Uh, 383,000, 383, 383,000. And we could put a description, which would be like beginning balances and then no name. And then the second account is going to be all the way down here, factory equipment, factory equipment. So let's put that in fact. Yeah, do we have factory equipment here? Let's see, it's, it would be a, uh, I don't see it. I'm gonna put factory equipment. I'm gonna create an account as we go, factory. Hold on a sec, factory equipment. And then tab, it's gonna ask me to set it up. This is gonna be a fixed asset type of account. So I'm gonna make it a fixed asset type of account right there. And then I'll keep it, uh, this is gonna be fixed asset. We're gonna make it fixed assets equipment or something like that. I'll just call it other. Uh, factory equipment, that looks good, that looks good. Let's save it there, we're gonna save that. And we need that to be for the amount of 510,000. So this is gonna be 510,000. All right, next item, next item is going to be the accumulated depreciation. So we'll make an accumulated depreciation account. So let's go back on over here, say accumulated depreciation tab. And then I'm gonna set that up. That's gonna be a fixed asset type of account as well. So we're gonna say fixed asset type of account. And then again, I'll put this all the way at the bottom to the other other fixed asset type of account, accumulated depreciation. Hopefully I spelled that right. If I didn't, uh, you know, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna say this is gonna be a credit for the 153,000. 153,000, all right. What else we got? Let's see what the next one is. This is fun. We're gonna say the next one is accounts payable. So that one we already probably have an accounts payable account. They probably gave us one of those. So accounts payable, I don't see it. I don't see an accounts payable. Then we don't have an accounts payable account. It's unusual. All right, let's put an accounts payable. Accounts payable tab. And this is gonna be an AP type of account. So we'll put it into an accounts payable type of account like so. And that looks good, that looks good. I'm gonna say save on that one. And this is gonna be a credit, I would assume, because it's a liability. And they usually have credit balances. And that's gonna be for 45,000. 45,000, that's what we'll put there. 45, that's what they tell us. And now we're gonna need a name. 
for here because we have if it's a if it's a payable account they force us to have a vendor so that the, the subsidiary ledger will work out so they force us to do it but it makes sense to do that so i'm glad they force us to do that so then we're going to go to the capital account which in our system is going to be retained earnings so i'm going to put the difference to retained earnings and that is going to be the 290 is that right is that what we need right now we we should it should be the uh 695 and that's because i've miskeyed this one this one should only be uh 45 000, and then the retained earnings should be uh 695 000 on the credit side so let's do that bring this pound back over this should be 695 000. and then that should be it right that should be it okay so that's it so that that's going to be our journal entry let's go ahead and say save and close and then take a look at the financial statement so save and close that one notice there's no income statement accounts we're just putting the beginning balances basically as of the first day that, that we're going to be starting work which is going to be january uh 2020. let's go back to the trial balance first that's probably the easiest way to see it and check our numbers so i'm going to go to the trial balance tab then i'm going to run the report and notice i'm up top and i'm in uh january so i'm in 2020. then we can compare our balances so we got the checking account the checking account up top if I, i'm going to go to the beginning balance up here 300,000 checking account. That looks good. All right, right. And then the 530 uh then the the 510 in the factory equipment and the 5 and the the 510 and the 153 and then the 45,000 in the accounts payable and the real check number is really that retained earnings at the 612 and that looks pretty good, right? That looks good. And then if I go to the balance sheet, this is the other place that we can't see it. If we then go to the balance sheet and we refresh the balance sheet or simply run the report again, uh, run the report again or refresh, you can hit the refresh button. I think that works up top uh, well as well. It works well as well. So then we can see the same thing here, but in here you can have those subtotals. So it's a little bit more confusing to see it all, but it is all there. So that's gonna be our beginning balance. So now we have some other accounts that are kind of worked in there. We got a checking account that at least is a positive number. So we don't have this negative checking account as we as we go through our practice problem. And these are gonna be the numbers that we will be working with as we move forward. That's gonna be it for now. Let's get out of here.